wrestling fans welcome back to the channel subscribers before we get into this article i just want to give you my opinion on this the problem with wwe likely having a problem with booking the giant ninja storyline on monday night raw these people disappoint me that i'm actually having this discussion with you i'm a huge fan i've been a fan for many many years many many years I haven't seen such a stupid gimmick like this for a long, long time, people. You're booking a ninja in 2020. Real talk. Like, come on. I can get... Like, I, I just about got my head around Shayna Baszler becoming a vampire and biting Becky Lynch, okay? The Fiend is awesome, alright? The Fiend, I'll have that. Finn Balor's the demon, I'll have that all day long. Even Kane, every now and again. Alright? Undertaker, obviously. Sting, yeah, yeah. But a ninja, come on, man. WWE should not be pulling out such cheesy gimmicks in 2020. WWE has a problem with ninjas all of a sudden. The Viking Raiders and the Street Profits joined forces with the Big Show for this week to take on this new menace. Jordan O'Mahony, the giant ninja, has trained at WWE Performance Center since 2018. But he's still green, he's been working hard, but kept off the main roster. Or NXT television. He's been working for Florida House shows for WWE. Since Jordan is rather green, it's unclear if WWE will have him wrestle a match. As Dave Meltzer noted on Wrestling Observer Radio, WWE is being very careful about booking anything with him right now. I don't know if it's a real short term thing. If they expose this guy at this stage, what the hell is WWE doing? They've got him feuding with the Big Show, what I thought was really interesting. And it was also interesting that the Big Show in this angle with him, they wouldn't let them near each other. It was noted that the Big Show and the New Giant will stand next to each other, will stand next to each other. This would legitimise the Giant Ninja. As a huge force to be reckoned with, WWE decided to keep them apart instead. It's unknown what the end game is in this situation. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, people, this is a garbage angle. This is a garbage character. This is stupid. Um, it, it, it's going nowhere. He, he's a ninja. It looks like someone off Street Fighter. I don't know what the hell is going on. It looks like Mortal Kombat, sorry. I don't know what is going on. When the revival left, there was pictures leaking from the revival. What Vince McMahon was asking these people to wear. You've actually got someone come out in this gear. It looks ridiculous, people. I don't know why the hell you got rid of uh, Paul Heyman for. Like, is this a Paul Heyman idea? Please tell me it's not. If it's a Bruce Pritchard idea, then oh my God. You need to stop with this cheese. It's cheese. All right. It's bad enough, like I says. You're trying to push other gimmick stuff. I can't watch a ninja on my screen. I personally can't do it. I honestly can't. He's a big dude. He's massive, but you're booking him completely wrong, man. 